business is booming in Londonderry. The southeastern New Hampshire town will soon be home to a billion-dollar development project with new homes and businesses in the next 18 months. There's a lot going on. We're really lucky to have it here in our community. Um, and we're looking forward to the challenge that opportunity presents. That new challenge will include security. So Londonderry's police force announced today they will be adding to their staff with the help of a federal grant. The federal government has committed $250,000 or 125 each to the hiring of two new personnel uh, over the next three years. The deal does come with some conditions. The conditions are that we hire a veteran and also that we keep that person on the books for uh, 12 months after the last budget period. The town council voted unanimously to accept the federal grant, which works on a reimbursement system. Over the next three fiscal years, the police department will be reimbursed by the federal government for the cost of officers' salaries, benefits, and other expenses. Chief Hart says they're ready for the new hires. We put uh, the same number of patrol officers on the street that we did in the early 90s. The first new patrol officer will be hired December 27th. The second will be brought on sometime in the spring. The chief says it can't be soon enough. Having two new people to help us out as we do our job servicing the needs of our community, it couldn't be more necessary right now and we're very grateful for that. And the federal grant was awarded by Community Oriented Policing Services, also known as COPS, which is part of the U.S. Department of Justice. COPS has awarded a total of $119 million to 184 police departments across the country.